Hi folks, welcome back. As a as I promised last week, just a wee quick update for the second half of the floor. As you can see, I've had my ears and my eyebrows lowered. Feel like human again. Oops, forgot the glasses, get the eyes on. As I said, I'm not gonna bother with the showing you the whole video of me hacking up the floor again, I've just sort of a, stuck a wee quick start up and then I'll cut it out and show you the finished. So here we go. So I'm proofing all off. As you can see, floor's in fantastic condition. Really, really pleased with it. I was expecting to find some horrors under there at some point. And apart from the two corners which I knew about, the front end. The rest is mint. Let's see what time it's sandblasted up. That'll be really really good. So let's have a wee quick look at these front corners. As I said, same again. And as a previous conversation with Sean from BMC. As you can see Sean, it's because of somebody's bad repairs. Other than that, the car was probably pretty mint. It should have been caused by somebody putting a repair panel in and not painting, not treating. And this folks is why you itch prime everything as soon as you finish with it. Same, both sides. Absolute mint. A wee bit of rusty water mark, but it's not rust, it's just a, it's just a red mark from the rust from the opposite corner when it's got wet and ran into the corner under the floor mat. As you can see, the little bit I was talking about in the bottom of the floor panel there. And same again the corner and the upturn at the sill. Stick the torch on there like you get a better. And just corroded right through. Same again. Well because somebody had put a patch panel on the inner wing and the bottom of the sill. There you go. So as I said it was just a wee quick update video. So uh, that's that for now, so I'll see what I can get up to during the week. So, there we have it. Thanks for watching people. And uh, if you like to be video, give us a like and a subscribe. Stay safe out there. Ta-da.